Good morning. What if? I'm going to ask you guys some questions here today. We're on our daily DT walk. And I want to make sure you guys are um, reviewing this question. I want you to think, what if? What if, as a child, you were taught out of the birth canal? Your parents knew your birth chart and they reviewed your birth chart and they said, whoa, this is the gifts. These are going to be challenges. These are going to be boulders, but these are going to be this child's blessing. And what if in kindergarten, instead of learning to freaking color, you learned symbols and who you are and just about all that. And you kept building it and learning you. What if we went to school and figured all that out? What if from childhood you were taught you instead of the bullshit you evolved and taught? Okay, what if you were taught these four hot spots that I teach in the zodiac wheels and medicine wheel again? Nine dollar class, you guys, but anyway, what if you were just taught those things about yourself and said these might be a little bit of pesky in your life, they might poke you, they might give you a little bit of trigger warnings, but they're gonna make you a badass. What if? At six, you were taught that. What if? And what if you were and you thought about every child on the planet learning how freaking powerful they are? Can you guys envision this? Can you see how powerful everything would be? Because we wouldn't be looking outside of ourselves. Now, the pattern I'm watching in all my clients, right now, well, every all of you probably as well, <clears throat> is that... We're really confused. We're going to talk about this on Monday in the Truth Tribe. It's going to be the topic of discussion is why so much confusion and, and so much, you know, uns we're so unsure of like what to do with ourselves. Like, who the heck, where am I? What the fuck am I doing? Where am I going? This is why. We're going to talk about that. And my point is, is that because we've been so used to the old world of someone telling us what to do and the new world is us deciding who we're gonna be according to the blueprint and the map we came with. We, you guys came with a freaking user's manual and no one's using it. <laughs> I think this shit is hilarious. So what if, instead of going, well, I didn't get it as a child, you did it today. I mean, seriously, what if you did it today? What if today you said, I know I wasn't given my astrology map. Astrology is another thing that people have been doing forever. Look outside of yourself. Look at those planets out there. What are they going to do to me? No, they're energetic frequencies. Energetic frequencies that tattooed on your soul like a map. When you came down through the universe, through the galaxy, through the planetary systems, and they tattooed actual frequency codes onto your soul. And instead, what happened? We're like, oh, it's the planets out. It's not the planets out there. They're inside of you. Their energetic frequency imprint map is inside of you. And if you were taught to look at the map that you, you came in with, your fucking power was badass. You're beyond measure. But we've been so taught for so long. You've been programmed. It's not your fault, but it is your fault today if you don't step up and say, I'm going to look at me. Minimal, I'm going to start with this one thing Dawn's talking about her Zodiac class. And minimal, just see four spots of myself going, oh my gosh, I can take back my power. I just posted, go look at the reel I just posted on, on my wall. Right, there's one spot. Go find it. I'm talking about it there. I'm not going to tell you the spot. I posted one spot on your chart that can reveal all your anxiety. Where you have emotional high lows where you lose it when I know it's not the rest of the world. The, I know like I'm literally so confident in the world in this one spot in my life when it gets a little bit wonky, I literally turn into an emotional blubber. Amazing. And when I looked at it from that perspective, guess what happened? I took back my power. And you can too. And I'm tired of everybody talking about out there. There are so many amazing astrologers out there. Pam Gregory. I mean, I'm just like Joe Anthony. There's so many out there that are amazing. And, and they're, they do that. And they talk about trends and futures. And, and again, planets have an energetic frequency. They are a language. 
and those language tell you kind of about the patterns of the universe and the world. They also tell you about your patterns that you can master. So again, when I talk about astrology, I'm going to keep reminding you, I'm not here to give you the future, to tell you the transits and the future and the plans. I'm telling you about you. And if you want to go, hmm, you're right, as a child, if someone would have given me all this information, it was the first thing I gave my girls. Hey, by the way, this area is going to be tough for you. Look, it's here on paper. I want you to see it. It's not, it's not something that you can avoid. You've got to work on it. One of my daughters had a hard time with friends. They would show up and then they would leave and they would shit. And when I showed her that, I'm like, so you're going to adapt to this. She was less thinking something was wrong with her as a human. I mean, no shit. We think something's wrong with us. Nothing is wrong with you all. You are all perfect. And you're here to get validated that you're so freaking perfect. It's beautiful. But we don't know because we weren't given that as the first thing we learned in school. It's the only thing we should be learning in school is the symbols of the codes and the energetic frequencies that make us up. And we choose to live low frequency in those codes or we choose to live high frequency in those codes. And sadly, you've been programmed to live low frequency and all this external bullshit and you want to take back your power, take it back today. Again, go grab the Zodiac Wheels, your medicine wheel. Its link is in bio or just comment or DM Zodiac and I'll send you the link. And if not, join us in Truth Tribe, also link in bio or just comment or DM Tribe and I'll send you that. It's free. We'll see you on Monday. We're going to talk about one of these trigger points that you weren't taught as a child that will literally change the anxiety of your life. It will calm your emotions down. It'll tell you why, where you go high, low, high, low, the highest highs you're going to have there and the lowest lows you're going to have there and why the anxiety will calm down when you know you have control over it. You guys, I love you. Happy wonderful day brightest blessings and i'll see you i'll see you on monday in truth tribe have a great day